How we doing today, YouTube? Dski from Dski Grill back with another cooking video. And today we are doing a wintertime cook. The reason I say wintertime because in Texas we get very little snow. But right now we have about eight inches of snow outside. It's time to get out there on that Glen Blue kettle and fire it up and cook one magnificent Wagyu ribeye. That's all we're doing today, folks. We're gonna hit that Glen Blue kettle. We're gonna use that. How we doing today, YouTube? Dski from Dski Grills back with another cooking video. And today, it is winter wonderland here in Texas. Today, we are cooking up a Wagyu beef ribeye on the Glen Blue Kettle. Folks, we're gonna use that slow and sear. We're gonna fire it up with the grill gun. We're gonna go outside right now. It's about 16 degrees outside with a beautiful landscape of snow. And we're gonna fire up and make the perfect ribeye. So it'll only be a few ingredients we're gonna use for today's cook. One is a good flake sea salt. The second is fresh black peppercorn. Last but not least, the star of the show is this beautiful 14 ounce Wagyu ribeye. So you know what we'll do, I'll take you step by step, I'll show you how we're gonna season. We'll go outside, fire up the Glen Blue kettle, then we're gonna go about a minute and a half on each side, then go indirect until we come up to the perfect, awesome temperature for this Wagyu steak. I wanna thank you as always for joining me and let's get cooking. Okay, folks, we are outside. So let me let you check out the winter wonderland here in Texas. So it has been maybe 20 or 30 years uh, since we had these type of conditions, uh, which is nothing to the folks up north. So, I mean, I know to you guys, this is actually a joke, but for us, I mean, it's almost like the world shuts down when we get any kind of snow. So I'm stepping in snow here. Let me bring you down just to give you ah, somewhat of a view of what I'm talking about. So you can see by my footprint right here, you know, we got at least about four inches here, right? Okay, so let's go and check out the grill setup, but you can see it's really exciting. Of course, all of North Texas has shut down. Our roads are icy. Uh, and at the end of the day, um, it's just a day that we get a chance to do some good grilling, okay? So nothing stops the good grilling. Let's come on down now. Let me show you what the grill setup looks like for today. Okay, folks, what we're doing, ultimately we have Jasper lump charcoal. Uh, talked about this in a few cooks. I've really, really enjoyed this. Then we have the grill gun. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing fired up. Okay, you just wanna go snug. Then you turn on your valve. And voila, there's fire. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and now get it fired up. Probably spend about maybe three minutes max on getting this baby hot. And then we'll just leave all the vents open and let this baby get firing hot up to around five, 600 degrees. At that time, we'll be ready to come out here with this awesome Wagyu ribbon. Okay, folks, so this should pretty much do it. We'll get back together maybe in about 15 minutes. Give this charcoal time to ash over and heat up more. We'll put the grill grate in place right now and go ahead and get that clean. And then we'll go inside and check out the steaks. Now with the 26 inch, what you can see is that you have an awesome sear zone, all right? Look at the size of this sear zone. So I could do multiple steaks. I only have one Wagyu ribeye for today, but we're gonna put that baby right here or the hottest part of the sear zone and let it go about a minute and a half on one side, flip, minute and a half on the other. Then we're going to indirect folks and let that baby come up to temp. So I'll meet you at the cutting board. So my plan, folks, with this steak is to come first with some extra virgin olive oil. We have a roasted garlic flavor. So we're gonna hit it with that first. And I wanna get a generous amount on both sides of the steak. Just to kind of infuse it with this garlic flavor. Get it flipped back over. Okay, so now it's just gonna be simple. We're going with our flake sea salt. This is Maldon sea salt. This is really good stuff. We want a nice portion of flake sea salt. And back with our fresh black peppercorn. Okay, so this is simple enough. 
Um, you know, when you're talking great cuts of meat, Wagyu has to be one of the finest. Um, it is uh, definitely, definitely competing uh, on a high level against Prime. Uh, Wagyu is very, very tender as well as Prime, but uh, Wagyu has even more marbling, I think, than Prime. So more marbling, more flavor. So we'll let this baby sit on the cutting board. Doesn't it look absolutely amazing already? The grill should be ready in about 10 minutes. Then we're just heading outside, folks, and we're going, like I said, a minute and a half on each side, indirect. Bring this baby in at the perfect medium is what we're gonna shoot for for today. See you guys outside. So folks, as you can see, we have a beautiful sear zone working out here on the Glen Blue Kettle. That's what I was telling you about. So you see the top half of the slow and sear is really, really hot. So you know that's where we'll be searing that Wagyu ribeye. Now, what I want is to let it continue going for about five more minutes. Let that heat just truly intensify. We've put in the work and we have everything we need for an awesome crust. We have a good sea salt. We have a good crush pepper and all we need now is that fire to be smoking hot so we'll come out in about five more minutes and start the searing process i'll see you guys in a bit youtube we are back and we are at my favorite part of the video and that is let's get cooking look at this beautiful ribeye it has been sitting on the cutting board for about 10 minutes soaking in that pepper and salt folks it's time to hit this baby on this awesome glen blue kettle so let me get it Now, again, what we're going to do is about a minute and a half on each side. Look at this baby. Let's get this thing hit on the sizzling hot coals and get started. Absolutely amazing. Look at that thing. This is what it's all about, folks. Awesome searing using the slow and sear and the Glen Blue kettle. So I don't know. I'm doing a lot of talking right now. We may actually just play music through this. Uh, but I'm glad you're hanging in there with me. I really appreciate you guys all the time for joining me. I'm so excited about having this steak today. It's going to be delicious. So only a few more seconds, and then we're going indirect. At that time, I'll go ahead and turn this camera off. Let this thing come up to this perfect medium temperature, which is going to be around 140 degrees internally. Okay, I would say we are about 30 seconds in again. We'll get this baby going in direct now. Let's burp. Making a steak does not have to be hard, folks. As you can see, look how beautiful this thing is. Goodness gracious, it's going to be amazing. We'll shut it down. Then we're going to go ahead and start checking internal temps. Uh, and once we hit 140, this thing is coming to the cutting board. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back checking out the final product of our beautiful Wagyu ribeye made on the Glen Blue Kettle. So let's talk about what we did first before we cut into this beautiful steak. I am salivating over here, folks. All we did is we started off with a quality sea salt, and that was the Maldon. We came back with fresh black peppercorn. We hit both sides with a garlic olive oil and let that all sit on the cutting board. Then we went outside, folks. We fired up that Glen Blue kettle. We got the slow and sear working with lump charcoal. Got that thing up to around five or 600 degrees. And before you know it, folks, we were adding this steak to the Glen Blue kettle. We went a minute and a half on one side, flipped, went about a minute and a half on the other. Then we went indirect until we reached the perfect medium. Folks, I'm so excited to cut into this baby. It's been resting for about 10 minutes on the cutting board. So without further ado, let's go right off into this beautiful steak. Look at this. Look at this, folks. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the juice. Look at this thing. My goodness. I am so excited. We're going to cut us another piece and give this baby a taste test. But you can see we have beautiful medium steak through and through. If you like what we're doing, Please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what d -Ski Grills is up to. And as always, at d -Ski Grills, grilling is not a pastime. It's a passion. It's time for a bite, folks. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'm telling you, this is a taste of heaven. Wagyu beef is just phenomenal, folks. Thanks so much for joining me. I got to get this other bite in. Catch you later.